summertime was all about fresh faced and neutral makeup looks, now that it's time to say goodbye to our sun-kissed skin, it's also time to welcome the fall season and warm up our beauty routines. Megan Birch is a makeup artist with Bombshell Beauty. She brought along model Maria Iskinderova to show us how to add some fall beauty trends to our eyes. Welcome, ladies. Thanks. It's always exciting when we get to add new makeup trends to our fall routine. Oh, for sure. But we have one eye done, so if you just want to explain yeah. the look of what we're seeing. Definitely. So we just did a real simple eye for fall, but it's a little bit more of the warmer tones. So you have like a nice brown in the crease here. And then we did like a nice gold little bit of shimmer on the lid. We actually blended out a little bit of yellow. It's amazing how you can add those warm colors, but them not look too, too crazy. Then we did even a little bit of red underneath just to make her green eyes really pop, so. I'm excited to learn how to actually complete this look. The blending can yeah. get hard when you don't have much experience with it. So right. what is the first thing you do? So I start with a primer always, especially doing brides, doing everything we do as makeup artists. You need a good primer. So, I like... So, do you recommend using a primer always on your eyes? Uh, I would say, yeah, at least if you want it to last. So, I'm going to do this guy. It's got a little tint to it. So, it'll also make the shadows pop. And it's almost like you don't have to work as hard, because it'll um, just create that really nice base and make the shadows look better. So, just all over the eyelid? Oh, yeah. Yep, all the way up. And I just do a little concealer type brush, but you could do your fingers too on yourself. Okay. Uh, you can tell it's really bright, but that'll just make the colors pop. And then let's see, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna start with a little transition shade, just a little bit of brown. On uh, a nice fluffy blending type brush, so it's just nice and soft looking. And this really isn't that many colors on her eyes, it just looks like a lot because of. So you're not going all the way to the bottom, and you're not going all the way to the top. Mm -mm. So you're kind of going right where you can see, especially on her eyes, the socket line is. So okay. if you push, it kind of sinks in right there. And you can just kind of do that on yourself. Give your eye just a little push, see where your bone structure is, and go right in there. And I'm doing a nice big fluffy brush, so it'll do all the blending for you. You can okay. see that's already pretty blended. And that was just kind of a, it's called ginger. Yeah, yeah, that color is called Ginger. It's from the Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia. And then we're going to go in. I'm going to do a little bit of a yellow here, which is just kind of a little extra fun fall twist. And that just kind of adds that little bit of interest to the eye. It doesn't look super yellow. It just adds a Very little subtle. bit of warmth. Yep. And then we're gonna brighten up. We did our shading, so you can see that just kind of pushes her socket back a little bit, which looks especially great on hooded eyes if you have um, a little bit of extra skin hanging down so you can't see your crease as much. That'll just push it right back, make your eyes look super big. And then you called this the shading? Um, yes. The next part? Okay. Well, the, um, the brown was the shading, okay. and then this is gonna be brightening. So I'm gonna do just a nice shimmer here. So why do you use that type of brush? So this is gonna pack on your shimmers. If you've ever used a shimmer, you probably know it's got a little bit more of that powdery feel. So this just keeps it nice and dense and packs on the color. And you're more dabbing it looks like rather than like brushing it on. Right, you could brush it on if you're in a hurry, but you might get a little bit of shimmer everywhere. If you ever get that little fallout underneath, it'll create a little bit of that, so. Okay. That helps oh, it looks good. Out. Well, thank so you. Pretty. And then just because we're extra, we're going to do... <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we're going to do just a little bit of glitter on top, too. So this is just like a liquid glitter shadow. Super easy to use. Just go all the way up with that. And then if it's not looking perfect, you can just kind of go over with that brush you were using and just kind of soften it up. And that's what I'd say for blending and making it look really blended. That's the biggest thing, just going back and forth and, um, you know, working it until you like it. That's definitely so a big simple, part. but it looks so good. So yeah. now you're just kind of touching up, adding a little bit more. For sure. And this is kind of what I'm talking about, just going back and forth a little bit, making sure all the colors look in unison. So it's kind of like you can't see where one starts and one okay. ends. I want you to go to, um, before we get into the general fall tips, I want you yeah. to do the red underneath. 
sure. Because I didn't really know that was a thing to put eyeliner or um, eyeshadow underneath yeah, your eye. Yeah, and it actually, I feel like it stays a little better than liner sometimes. You know, you get that smudgy look. Do you need to put me. primer under there? Uh, I have a little bit of concealer, and so that should create a nice smooth base. And you just rub it on. Yeah. So does that just brighten the eye, or how, what does that do for it? That brightens the eye, and it also creates some nice definition underneath. Um, Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist actually used to make like a big shadow under the eye because her lashes would look so big okay. that it would create that shadow. So it's kind of what that's doing. It's making the lashes look really thick underneath. I yeah. love this look. It's absolutely gorgeous. But let's just yeah. run through some other fall beauty tips that you have for, sure. for us that we can consider when doing our makeup. Definitely. So you can definitely incorporate like a warmer tone like we did today. A little bit of that yellow, orange, red works really great. Just with that blending brush, make it a nice transition shade with your look. Um, swap black eyeliner for brown. We did that today. That just gives it more of that smoky, sultry sort of fall vibe. And then swap your lip gloss for a matte. I know summer that like really sparkly matte or gloss is in. But um, matte for fall is really nice and a little bit more um, like a darker fall vibe. So. Yeah, and I love the color you guys are wearing. Thanks, we're wearing the same color. Yeah. Mob <laughs> is in for fall, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, well, thank Mob. you guys so much for coming in. It looks absolutely beautiful. Oh. So thank you for teaching us how to do this. No problem. Thank you.